Hi, today I will show you an easy way to uh, make up um, a nano DLP uh, system. Um, when uh, when a client uh, want to set up their profile uh, to the nano DLP for the Toast project. They need to uh, set up many parameters to the nano DLP or uh, in concern uh, much uh, operation on the West API. Uh, many, uh, many of them didn't know how to work for it. And today I will show you how to do this in a simple way. Uh, here I have uh, extract um, my printers, uh, my working printers uh, system into a uh, image file. You can see here. I have uh, this name is for Nano DLP Nation Two uh, Case LCD. This uh, image. Uh, is uh, per install, per install the nation and uh, while set up the 2K LCD, uh, this LCD uh, is only for 2K and sh and sell sell on my uh, web store on AliExpress. And when it come to the 4K and other screen, this image file is not. Uh, Okay, to work, you need to we we set up the HDMI file. But when come to uh toast uh project and and the LCD she recognized and my store also sell this LCD. This is very fixed to it. Uh, as you as you see, um. Uh, this is the this is per install and well text uh, Im image. Uh, this image has uh, uh, can when you write your this image into your uh, SD card and uh, insert this SD card to the Raspberry Pi, uh, it will work out. Well. You don't need to set up so many things. Uh, at the beginning, uh, you see I have uh, right used the Win32 this image uh, to write this uh, Nexion 2K uh, image to my SD card. Now it's mentioned it write successfully, and now. When we come to the when we come to the uh, the USB, you can see it's uh, uh, on the Windows operation uh, 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 Windows platform. It just showed it's only forty uh, forty one uh, amp. And beat size because it's why when it's successful write the uh, image into the USB it will it just can show the uh, book session in the in your USB uh, the window system did, cannot detect another uh, another file on it because another file uh, um, uh, other file format is not uh, FAT32 uh, so it just can uh, recognize the 41 MB size so that's enough uh, when you successful why this uh, per, install, per installs uh, image to this uh, USB um, there's another thing we need to do uh, because 
now we normally use the uh, uh, Wi-Fi to connect the nano DLPs. As you see, you need to uh, create a file. You can uh, make it into text and uh, make this file name to the cough. And its name is WAPL uh, Supplicant. Okay, this is the uh, final name. You need to create this file. And there, you need to add your Add this uh, command line to this file, and need to uh, uh, need to uh, revise this file. Uh, this is your Wi-Fi name. You just uh, fill this uh, into your Wi-Fi name, and this is your uh, password for your Wi-Fi. You need to uh, revise this uh, two option, and then after you revive this one here here I have I have the correct one here you need to uh, put uh, copy this one into your USB your SD uh, file you can uh, and cut here now with this file, uh, you can with this file with your Wi-Fi password, you can you can put your SD insert your SD to your Raspberry Pi. Now I have the machine well prepared here to show whether it can I will show you I will show you whether it can work out. Okay, now we have insert the SD card and connect to the power source. Okay, now you see if the is the LCD is bright, you can know it will work. This is a start up. Okay, the next one uh, still have hasn't have any information. If it have the information, that means this uh, image image file can work. It's okay. Okay, we will wait to see whether we have the Y. But the bad line of the of the LCD is okay. Also, we can we can see from the web page um, to see our router have the IP address for the Nano DLP. Maybe it's us. Oh, we see. Now the mission also can show have the image on it, but the IP address didn't show it. We can change the change it. Okay, it can get your router's IPs automatically. It, uh, the pitch uh, departure. The this is IP address. And we need to text it. Firstly, we want to text the um, projector. Okay, to see, we can we can line up the. Oh yes, 
the UV light up, and the uh, LCD have to measure. Okay, see the whole bright one. Okay, all this can work out work work well. So it means the images can work. You don't need to set anything. Just uh, a punch to it. And that's them. And we need to come to the uh, web page to load into the nano. We need to do another thing is set up two. Here is an option of ex explain the file file system. If you didn't explain the file system, it, it just is is a uh, space is very limit. Where do we can see the spaces? We can go to the plane and load down. You see, here we just have the free this space for two hundred MB. So it's very uh, small because we didn't explain our system. Here we just take the explain system uh, button. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Then the manual will be uh, reboot, so you can connect to the printer. It will reboot again. You will see. Uh, it's the screen is showing is shutting down, and we we'll we start it again. And you will after uh, after the after it starts, if you have the right, uh, it has the enough space, free space for the nano. It it doesn't start, but we can wait. Whether your nano DLP is work, you can see this uh, green light. If it is still blinking, the green light uh, is working. Now, it is uh, re refresh, so it can work. As you see, we can also test it. Yes, yes, it's okay. Also, to work, can work. We can also text with the USB. Yes, because with Y sets the USB, so we can add the plan from the USB. Here we have the add the, uh, button. You can see the this this is a USB uh, file. If you remove this and refresh, you can see the USB file. Okay, it means this one is also can uh, select a file from USB, and we also can notice your free space from uh, of the nano DLPs. If you can connect it to the 
If you can why connect it to your manual, you can see your spaces uh, will be uh, increases.